My name is Suresh Garmela and I'm a graduate student here in the program for Atmospheres, Oceans and Climate at MIT. So the primary focus of what I'm doing here at MIT is trying to understand the interaction between mineral dust particles, particles that, that uh, originate from dry areas. So you have a desert and winds blowing over the desert and you get all the dust kicked up in the air. How those particles interact with water vapor to form clouds. And uh, I'm looking at these processes in the laboratory. And the reason this is important is because these particles are really abundant because there's lots of arid regions and these particles make it up into the atmosphere uh, and they form clouds and clouds are one of the most poorly understood but most important aspects of the climate system. And in order to make uh, better estimates of their role in the climate system to understand future current and future climate, it's uh, important to understand these interactions. <laughs> so I get here in the morning, check my email, have a cup of coffee, uh, then I go into lab and see what's broken, generally, and do my best to try to fix it and try to get everything working just right in the laboratory. And sometimes I can get it working just right and take some take some measurements and you know make some clouds and figure out uh, some interactions and on the small scale. And if you integrate that sort of uh, activity over the course of, of several weeks, uh, collect data, then I analyze it on the computer and hopefully write it up as a paper. So as a climate scientist, you're dealing with a really complex, really large scale problem. And I'm, I'm taking a very small snippet of that problem. But as a laboratory researcher in climate science, you have to think about the complex theoretical uh, framework where, where, that you're working with and also using your wrench to get your ice chamber to work. And so the sort of multiple things that I'm expected to be able to do in terms of both understand the theory and uh, get, get the equipment to work. And it's, 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 a, it's, it's a complex process that involves lots of logistics, getting people together and helping and uh, getting the theory to set up the perfect conditions for us to be able to uh, tease out the behavior of mineral dust and, uh, and, water, and water to form droplets. Climate science itself is a really interesting scientific problem. But one of the most important aspects of being a climate scientist, in my opinion, is being able to communicate that to people who don't study climate science. And if you're able to do that effectively, and you understand the technical details of what you're studying, that's, that's an invaluable uh, service that you can provide to the, the, the public at large, policymakers, people who are trying to, to make their, their, their lives in a changing climate. And, you know, people want to understand, you know, how to prepare for things and studying something that's so complex but so societally relevant is just, I think, really cool.